Everyone has different ideas about which program every PC should have in 2024, but there are some essential programs that are useful for everyone. And in this video, we will explore some of these best programs. And all these applications and programs are great, whether you are new to computer or have a lot of experience. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. And the very first tool that we have in the list is the Power Toys, which is a very popular tool and comes with a tons of features. In order to download, either you can bring up any of your favorite browser, or you can also bring up the Microsoft Store. And here in the search, you have to type Power Toys, and you will have to click on Microsoft Power Toys. So just click on Install, and it's around 254 megabytes in the size. So it may take some time, so you will have to wait. And in case if you have trouble downloading from the Microsoft Store, or if you have the problem of slow downloading, I've already created a video you can check that video to fix these kind of problem. So once it gets downloaded and installed, you can bring it up, and you will find this kind of dashboard. And here you can see on the left-hand side, you find tons of features for which you have to wonder. And you have to look for many kind of third-party tool. But this is the Microsoft tool, and you can easily enjoy all these features over here. I will not be going into detail here. But still, I can give you a quick preview like always on top. And if you want that any application should be always on the top, which can be very useful while doing any kind of typing or any kind of work. So you can go and use this feature. Then you have the awake option. You can always awake your PC or laptop if you want to. The color picker. Many time you have to use many kind of extension and application to just pick any kind of color from any kind of page, from any kind of section. Similarly, command not found, crop and lock, environment variable, fancy zone, file locksmith, keyboard manager, image resizer, peak, power to iron, quick assist, registry preview, shortcut guide. So these are the powerful tools that you will be getting in just one tool only that is power toy. And why I recommended you this tool because it's totally safe, lightweighted. And once it will be installed on your computer, you can enjoy many kind of features and services using one tool only. All right, so now let's move to the next tool that is the Revo uninstaller. And it's my favorite and I recommend personally to each and every Windows user that they should have this tool. So again, you will have to bring up any of your favorite browser, and then you have to search for Revo Uninstaller. You can click on the first link, Uninstall Software, and then you will be coming to their website, and it says Introducing Revo Uninstaller, Uninstall Unwanted Program, and they're left over quickly and easily. So first you have to go with the basic setup, you can click on Free Download. And then you have to click on free download again in the free via and the file will be quickly downloaded. Click on the downloaded file, click on yes, just go with the basic installation steps, check the agreement box, click next, next install. All right, so once it will be installed, you will be getting this kind of dashboard of Revo uninstaller. Now why I'm recommending you this tool because many time what happen, accidentally you install many kind of applications, some kind of malicious tool get installed. So in order to uninstall it, either you go to Settings, go to Apps, click on Install App, and you just uninstall the application by clicking on the three dot and click Uninstall. But keep in mind uninstalling the application from here only uninstall the application, but it doesn't completely remove the application from the registry and from the C drive. So it's very important instead of uninstalling from here, you will have to select the application that you want to uninstall then click Uninstall again. If you want to create a restore point, then you can create it. I will just uncheck, click continue, click on yes. So first this will be uninstalling, and then it will be scanning the system file, and now you can see that it says found leftover registry item. So this application was even saved in the registry and in the C drive as well. So what you have to do now, simply select all, click on delete, click on yes. There are still some file in the C drive. So again select all, click on delete, and now the application has been completely removed from your device. All right, so the next time whenever you uninstall any application, any kind of software, go with this method. All right, so now let's move with the next tool that is the Lock Hunter, and you will have to again come to this website, and it says it is a free tool to delete file blocked by something you do not know. Now many times it happens that you are trying to uninstall any kind of application, you are trying to close it, but you get an error message that a file is used by another person, other people, or any other program. So you are not able to delete it, you are not able to uninstall it, and many times majority of the users have the same problem. 
Even many times when you have any kind of viruses, any kind of malware, and when you try to delete them, again you get the same message that the file is used by another program or file is used by another user. So with this application you can find out that where exactly that application is running, and then you can just go ahead and close it. Alright, so come to this page, click on download, click on download now, click download now 5 megabytes. It's a small file. Once downloaded, click on the downloaded file, click on yes, click on ok, go with the basic steps, next, next and install. And once it will be installed, the next time if you try to delete any application, if you have any trouble, so let's say if I want to delete this one, and I'm not able to delete it, then just make a right click on it. On Windows 11 you can click on show more option, and here you will be getting a new option in the context menu that says what's locking this file. So if you click this option, click on yes, it will let you know whether any application is blocking or not, and if yes, it will let you know the location where exactly the file is being used, and then you can visit to that location and delete the file from there. So it's very useful especially when you get infected and you have any kind of malicious software or tool on your computer. Keep this application on your computer always. It's safe, lightweight, and it will not be affecting any kind of your performance. And now let's move with the fourth tool that is another popular tool and will be helping you in different ways. Again, you will be getting the link in the description. You will have to come to this website on a shut up 10 plus plus, and this is a kind of free anti-spy tool for Windows 10 and 11. If you want to read more about it, you can read here, and in order to download, you have to click on this download button, and the file will be quickly downloaded. Click on the downloaded file, click on yes, and this kind of dashboard will be coming up, and it says two different options, current user or local machine. The current user is the one through which you are logged in and using this computer. Now here basically what you can do, you can maintain your privacy, and you can disable many of the things that are being sent to Microsoft and other publisher. So here in the privacy section you can see it says disable and reset advertising ID and info, disable transmission of typing information, disable suggestion and start, disable tips, tricks, suggestion when using Windows. Now disabling this all privacy section will be surely improving your privacy and even increasing the performance of your machine. Similarly you can look here, disable app notification, you can check in the app privacy, what all app privacy you want to disable, you can disable from here. A part of that you can also manage the Microsoft Edge, what all you want to disable in the Microsoft Edge, you can disable from here. Then you can also manage the Windows Sync settings, then you have the Cortana, Windows Copilot. If you want to disable the Copilot, you can disable it. Windows Explorer, you can manage all these settings, lock screen, search setting, taskbar setting, mix setting. So you get all these options for absolutely free, and you can manage from one place only. In case if you are not sure what exactly you have to do, then you can also click on action and click on apply only recommended settings. Okay, and now let's move with the last tool that will be helping you to optimize and boost your computer performance. So this is by the name Optimizer, and this is a GitHub link, so you will be getting the link in the description. Then on the right hand side you will find the releases option, you will have to click on latest, then scroll down a bit, and in the asset section click on Optimizer 16.5.exe, and again this is a small file, so it will be quickly downloaded. So click on the downloaded file, click on yes, go with the basic installation, choose your language, and then finally you will be getting this kind of dashboard. Now here you can see you get tons of features, and from here only you can fully optimize your computer. So in the general section you have the system option, you can optimize performance, show all notification icon, optimizer, network, so I will enable it. Disable error reporting, I will disable it. Print service, if you don't use any kind of printer or fax, then you can go ahead and disable it. In the disk drive you have the system restore, super fetch, so I will go and disable the super fetch. Disable NTFS timestamp, disable the search, office telemetry, Mozilla telemetry, Firefox, so you can disable all these unwanted application settings over here. Then you can come to Windows 11 section and you can restore the classic file explorer option. When you right click on the Windows and you click on any of the application, you get the new context menu and if you want to bring the old context menu, then just enable this option and once you restart the computer, the old context menu will be enabled. Similarly, you can just disable the TPM check if you are on Windows 10. You can restore the classic photo viewer that majority of the people like it. 
You can disable the widget, disable the chat, disable the sticker, disable the Cortana, enhance the privacy, disable news and interest, disable edge telemetry, disable edge discover. You can disable the Xbox game bar that will be surely improving the gaming performance, and there are many more things that you can do. Similarly, you get the UW app that you can manage. You can manage the startup. There are many other applications that you can install from here only. You can also go with the cleaner that will be cleaning your browser and windows. You can go with the network optimizer, registry tweaker, and in case if you need a detailed video on any of the application, then let me know in the comment section. I will be surely getting back to you. That's all guys for today. Hopefully you found all these five tools useful and you can go ahead and just install your computer because these are free, safe, and very powerful. Let me know in the comment section which application you like the most, and do not forget to like and subscribe, and I see you in the next video. And if you don't like shortcut icon, then you can remove the software shortcut icon, then you can see my video the video show on your screen. Bye.